Hey class, my name is Cynthia Wesley and I may look a little irritated but this is my third time, third time recording this. Um, for lecture one, I decided to choose the question, why should we believe Nathan Peck's story? From the lecture, and of course if you didn't do the videos, you get the questions, you know who he is how long he's been in his field um, and I think like any historian um, who's had research and experience that you should believe him I've known him for about two and a half three years he's my advisor I've had multiple classes with him um, and almost everything that he has stated to me personally um, academically in the classroom setting is true now let's put this on the record I'm not easily believed um, I'm one of those people who always think that I'm right um, especially when it's things that I know that I'm talking know what I'm talking about and I always research a topic that someone tells me something and I'm not for sure if it's true or not so alone by me saying that what he has told me is true is why I feel as though you should believe his story um, it's kinda hard for me to call them stories because you know with many storytellers not everything they say is true um, So I don't want to call, say that you should believe his stories, but more the things that he says. Um, what makes them even more believable, I would say, is that for everything he states academically, he has a personal reference to it. Um, I can remember learning back in school, when you read a text, that a way to understand it is to relate it back to your life. So the fact that Nathan can tell me something and related to his life and sometimes to my own makes me believe that he knows what he's talking about and at the end of the day if I question it I can always research it and find out if he knows what he's talking about or he's not and in this case when he spoke about the Da Vinci and the Last Supper painting he knew what he was talking about from research um, most importantly I feel as though you, believe, you should believe what he's saying is basically because of the amount of time and research and practice and experience that he has gained over the years. Um, Nathan is no 18 year old professor. Um, he's not fresh at the brain. He has a lot of fresh ideas, I will say, but he's not fresh at the brain. Um, he has experience, uh, and he's been he's been been there and done that. Um, so especially for someone who is just embarking in the art field, the art world, um, I think he is a great starting point to learn something and then do further research on it. So yes, I totally believe that you should believe um, what Nathan says for the main fact that the amount of time and experience that he has put into this field and that he is continuing to put into it makes to me what he says valid enough um, for me to at least explore um, if I don't fully believe it but of course like I told you um, a little while ago everything he's told me um, in the beginning I would say I kind of question it but after working with him for over two years I believe what he's saying and mostly always all the time his advice his stories quote unquote um, has always rang true that's why I think you should believe what he says I'll post um, my question for you guys next week below this video on my blog thanks for watching goodbye